at you with another video. Hey, you guys. So today we're going to be making, if you guys don't know, I'm going to let y'all in on something about me. I love, love, love Starbucks, everything Starbucks. So today we're going to be making a cinnamon coffee cake recipe. Have y'all, let me know, drop a comment below if y'all have tried the cinnamon coffee cake at Starbucks. Mmm, warmed up. Mmm, what a caramel frappuccino. Anyways, I'm crazy. Okay, y'all, but no, for real. Today we're going to be making a cinnamon coffee cake, and I have the recipe right here on my phone. So, basically, I found this website, and you could do, like, um, basically, it's a Starbucks website, but it's coffee at home, so they have, like, different recipes and stuff for, like, um, the stuff that they have on their menu that you can actually just try to make yourself and do at home. So this is what we're going to be making today. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me come in a little bit closer real fast. So you guys can see. Boom. That cinnamon coffee cake. We're going to be making that. So let's just get right into this video. Okay. Anyways, so I'm going to get all of the ingredients. I actually have it on this phone. So the total time to make everything should be like 45 minutes, but do we really want to make a 45 minute video? I don't know, but let's just get into this video, okay you guys? So we're going to start off with the Greek yogurt cake base, that's what it's called. And the ingredients that goes in that one is 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter, 1 half cups of granulated sugar, 3 large eggs, 1 and... What is that? One and one over two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one one fourth cup of Greek yogurt, two one wait, what is this? Two and a half cups of cake flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, um, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So it's baking powder and baking soda. Okay, so let's just get all of our ingredients. So we'll get Okay, so it said, no, that's brown sugar, baking soda, granulated sugar, cake flour, um, I think that's everything out there, okay, let's see, baking soda, baking powder, okay, where's the baking powder, it should be in here somewhere, let's see, Powder. Okay, I got the vanilla extract, got the sugar, we're going to need salt, so let me grab the salt. The bacon, oh my god, come on y'all. So now that I actually finally want to make it, oh here it goes, right here. Got it. So this is the baking powder. Um, let's see. Butter. So let's get the butter. Is this unsalted? We'll just take them all out. Okay. Let's get the eggs. Okay, let's see. Greek yogurt. Okay. Oh, I, I was just, okay, let's see. Okay, so butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, cake flour, baking soda, um, baking powder, and salt. Okay, cool. So let's get our bowls and stuff. And our mixer. Okay, actually, let me just sit that over there for now. 
okay so let's go down our recipe let's go down okay so step one before we even do anything we need to pre-eat pre-eat see i'm hungry look i'm ready to eat i'm ready to get some dessert we need to pre-eat no we need to preheat our oven to 325 so let me do that real fast not bake time let me see preheat bake Go down, 325, start that up. Okay, cool, we got it. So it's preheating. Now, should we use this bowl? Or should we use this bowl? We'll just use the big bowl. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna need another bowl for the next step of the recipe. So let's see. It says, in a large bowl, mix together room temperature butter. I should have left the butter out, but guess what? We're gonna put it in the microwave. <laughs> so it says, in a large bowl, mix together room temperature butter and sugar. And let's see. Should be light and fluffy, do not over whip. Okay, cool. So basically, we need 12, 12 tablespoons. So, so one stick of butter is eight tablespoons. So then we're just gonna cut it. So let's just cut this. So one whole stick is eight, then it's gonna be nine, 10, 11, 12. So we just gonna cut it in half. So it's gonna be one stick and a half of butter, okay? So we're gonna just put it in there for a little bit. Now we're gonna take one half cup, one and a half cups of sugar, and we're gonna put it in our bowl. So let's get our sugar. I use the sugar in the raw, it's natural sugar, it's not bleached, it's not white cane sugar. So we're gonna take one cup. One cup, put it in the bowl, and now we're going to take one half, so that one is going to be the one that's one over two, is that one half? Yeah, then it's gonna, so that one's going to be the one that's one over two, one half, and we're going to take it, put it in the bowl, just like so, okay, so, we're gonna take this and move this to the side. We're gonna get our butter. Hopefully, it is good. It's not room temperature yet. So we're gonna put it on 16 seconds. And while that's going, we're gonna get our hand, I'm gonna do our hand mixer. Our little unboxing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mini unboxing video. I'm just kidding. But no, we're gonna do our hand mixer. And I really like this one. This one is so cute. And it's in stainless steel. You know your girl loves stainless steel. I say that in every video. But um, yes. And this is so cute because it comes like in a little packaging, like in a little container. I just love, love, love that. So let's open this up real fast. And I can't even open it because my nails. There we go. Look how cute that is, you guys. OMG. Right? Your girl got so much good kitchen style. Okay, so let's just undo this really fast. This is my first time using it, or else I wouldn't have to take time to actually take all this stuff apart. 
So let's just plug it up real fast. Let's go get the butter out the microwave. Is it room temperature yet? Somewhat. It's somewhat. So I'm going to let it go for another 10 seconds. Because I don't want it to melt, but it's getting there. I like how it comes with, oh, it comes with the whisk. It comes with these two, whatever these are. But these mixing ones are the ones that I'm going to use. So we're going to take that, put that over there. Put this right here, throw this stuff away. Okay. Perfect. So now we got the butter. And basically, I'm just all over the place. Okay, these are in here really good, nice and tight. I gotta match it up in the hole. Is it in there? Yes, perfect. start coming out so hold on let me make sure it's clicking in there <laughs> y'all I am too much okay anyways so let's go back here so we're gonna take our butter and put it in the bowl with our sugar like so oh I don't want to make a mess it did melt a little bit but it's fine so we're gonna put the half in there and pour the rest of that in there, okay? Alrighty, so now we're gonna go, we got our butter and sugar, and it says, we're gonna mix it and it should be light and fluffy. So hold on, give me a second. Okay, you guys, so let's mix this up, but we don't wanna over mix it, so. I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. Stop and scrape the sides of the bowl down. Okay. It says do the bottom too, so they must want you to flip it a little bit. It says scrape the sides and the bottom. Okay? So now, what we're going to do is go to the next step. So right now, we're at step four, and it's saying, um, now add in one egg at a time, mix it in between each addition, stop and spread bowls on the side from sides and bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna add our eggs. These ones, I always shake them, because if I hear the yolk moving around, that means that it's not a boiled egg that I made and then sat it on the side of the refrigerator. 
But okay, let me put this right here. Ooh. Sit this on my measuring cup. And we're gonna take an egg. Crack one egg. And we're gonna mix it in. So we're gonna mix in one egg at a time. Okay, so that's good. Then they said scrape the sides and the bottom. I'm guessing each time we do it. So. Now I'm going to take, the oven is preheated, so that's good. I just heard it go off, so we're going to do one, one more egg, this one, and then it's going to be one more. All together, we're going to do three eggs. Cup. 
And this, of course, is plain Greek yogurt because you want one that has no flavor in it because you don't want it to mess up um, like the flavoring of whatever you're making. So, of course, this is plain Greek yogurt. And I'm going to take it and put it in there, one cup. Okay. Scrape all of it out. Okay, and then it's going to be one fourth. So we're going to take our one fourth. This one is clean, so I'm just going to put it in there. I didn't use this one for anything. And honestly, I probably won't even use this Greek yogurt after I've done it. So at this point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't at this point. Okay, so we got our Greek yogurts in there. Now, what they are asking is, we have to put our one and one half teaspoons. So... We're gonna go and flip this around. Oof, let's not make a mess. Okay, so we're gonna do one, a half of a teaspoon, so that's this one. We're gonna shake it up a little bit. So we're gonna put our half first, one, and then we're gonna put our whole teaspoon next. So it's gonna be this one. Okay? Perfect. I'm gonna sit this over here so I can rinse that out because I might have to use that again. But I feel like I'm just making a big mess right now. So I just wanna try to get everything um, just cleaned up a little bit. So you guys know I hate cooking and stuff and it's stuck everywhere. So let me just rinse this out real fast. I'm a firm believer in cleaning up as you go. Okay, so now we're just going to mix this up. So let's mix all of this together. Break the sides of the bowls down, the side of the bowl and the bottom. Just to make sure everything is mixed in there good. And I'm just going to blend it up a little bit more one more time. Perfect. So now we're just going to sit that off to the side and we're going to need another bowl. So now, we're going to get another bowl and we're going to start on the next step. So basically this one right here is going to be our dry ingredients. Okay, well semi-dry ingredients because we put the sugar in in the beginning. So now it says, in a separate bowl, combine your flour, baking powder, baking soda, and your salt. So we're going to be using cake flour because that's what it says in, um, in the recipe. So we're going to use cake flour, 
baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Okay, cool. So that's step six. So let's open this up. For our cake, um, our cake, ooh, okay. No, is this one the cake powder? I'm guessing it is. Hold on. Because they want me to use two different flours, a cake flour and then there's an all-purpose flour. But I'm just trying to see for... Which one is it going to be? Hold on. Because I don't want to mess this up. That is crazy. Okay, cool. Let me see. Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, it says. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, I got it. So this one is gonna be our cake flour. And then the next step, it's going to be our regular flour. Let me put a knife. Where did I put that knife? Okay. So we're going to use two and a half cups of cake flour. So this is one cup. Two cups. A little bit over two cups. And then a half of a cup. So I'm just gonna use this one right here. That's a half of a cup. Okay. So we got the cake flour. Okay, so now we can actually put the yogurt back up because we are done with the yogurt. Okay. Now we're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. So let's do teaspoons. One teaspoon. This is baking powder. If you don't know what baking powder is, if you've never seen it, this is baking powder. We're gonna use two of these. So one. Two. And then we're going to use a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So just a half of a teaspoon, which is going to be this one. So let's open up our baking soda. And we're only going to need a half. So, boom. There we go. And then we're gonna need one half teaspoon of salt. So let's get our half a teaspoon of salt. Let's open this up. Okay, so now we're gonna use that same one since it's a half. just going to pour it in there. So that's our salt. Perfect. Let's throw this away. Okay, so now that we got all of that, this is what we're going to do. Okay, so it says in a separate bowl, combine the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, which is this bowl. And then now it says add one third of the flour mixture to the egg. So basically, we got our flour mixture and we got our regular mixture. And we're basically just gonna start putting this into here while we're mixing it up. So that's basically what it's saying. Okay, cool, we can do that. 
So we're going to just take some of it and put it in here. Just some of it. Okay. We're going to turn it on low and get it all mixed in. Make sure you get everything blended in there. And blend it up again. Make sure everything is getting blended good. Everything is getting mixed in good. Perfect. Okay. Alrighty. So we're just going to, oh no, let's take this and wipe this up, it's just dripping out, <laughs> it's just dripping out, <laughs> that's not funny, okay, anyway, let's mix this up real good, so we can go on to our next step, oh I'm putting this stuff everywhere, it's all over me. Okay, so now we're just going to mix this up, make sure everything is mixed in there good. Okay, so now in this bowl, this is what we're going to do. Okay, 
Okay, look. So in this bowl, let me scoot this over so you guys can see. Good? Okay. So now we're gonna take one third cup of light brown sugar. We're gonna take two thirds cups of all purpose flour. We're gonna take one fourth teaspoon of salt and then four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Okay? So we got the brown sugar, light brown sugar. Let's get our all purpose flour. I still have the butter right here, and I have more right here. So what is this? Four tablespoons cubed. So we're gonna cut it into cubes. Let's put this over here really fast. So we're gonna take them and cut them into cubes, four cubes. Perfect. So we're gonna add one, two, three, four. Okay, now we are not gonna need this anymore. So we can put this back. Now we're gonna take one fourth teaspoon of salt. So let's get our measuring cups again. One fourth of salt. So we're gonna get our salt and put it in there. One fourth of salt. Now we're gonna do one third, no, two thirds cup of all purpose flour. So we're gonna get our flour out. And we're gonna do two thirds. So when they say two thirds cup, this one right here has one third, so it's one over three. So basically, we're gonna do two of these one-thirds, and that's how you make your two-thirds. So we're going to take our flour, all-purpose flour. This is unbleached all-purpose flour. I'm going to take one. Now I'm gonna do one third cup of light brown sugar. Oh, this stuff is getting all over me, you guys. Okay, anyways, we're gonna do one third cup of light brown sugar. So what I'm gonna do is take it, cause it says packed. So I'm just gonna put my hand in here and make sure it's completely even, because I'm guessing when they say packed, they mean like packed down to make sure you're getting the exact ingredients that they're telling you, like the exact amount. Because if you like scoop sugar out, the air in it, well sometimes when you scoop it, there's air in your cup, so it won't be like the exact amount that you think you're putting in there. So, okay, one third packed. Perfect. Okay. Let's take this stuff and put this away. Put the sugar back. Put the baking soda back. Perfect. 
Okay, so now that we have this mix, this mix, this mix right here is our cinnamon strudel mix. So now, before we, uh, before we um, wrap this part up, we need to put one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. So let me get this ground cinnamon. consistency. The only thing about this is, is like crumbling up this butter. <laughs> That's the only thing for me, but it's coming together. Okay, cool. So that should be good. Now we're going to say, let's see. Okay, so now I got to get my pan. Tin 
loaf pan with the batter. So we're going to take our batter and we're going to fill it one third of the way. Sprinkle a thin layer of the cinnamon scrutal mix on top of the batter. Then repeat the process one more time so that the muffin tin is two thirds filled with strudel on top. Got it. Okay, we can do that. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take some of this batter. And what I'm going to do is fill it up. Oh my goodness, no. There we go. So I'm just going to take it and put it in the inside like so. Can you guys see? And now it says we're going to take this mixture and we're going to sprinkle the mixture. So sprinkle, basically sprinkle a thin layer like so over that. Okay. And now we're going to take it. The rest of the batter, well not the rest, but if it'll fit, we're going to take it and just place it on top of the rest of it, like so. We're going to take it and just keep putting it on top. take the rest of it and just scrape it and put it into the bowl. Go into the tin. Like this. Okay. And we're just going to put it in there just like that. Make sure everything is good. Perfect. Now, now what we're going to do is, I can unplug this, it says, okay, so now we're going to put the rest, well not the rest of it because this is a lot, but we're going to just sprinkle the mixture on top of it. Perfect. That looks absolutely wonderful. Okay. That looks perfect. It looks amazing. Amazing, honey. Amazing. Yes. That looks wonderful. Okay, I'm just cleaning this up like I do. Okay, so now it says, okay, cool, I did that, boom. Now it says we're finally on step 10, the last, last, last step. So now what we're going to do is take this. Just in case we do the thumbnail, and we're gonna take this and put this in here. I am gonna clean all of this stuff up, and I'm gonna let that cook, and I'll be right back with you guys, okay? All right. Hey guys, so I took it out of the oven. After you let it cook for about 50 minutes, you're gonna let it 
sit and let it rest and then we're going to cut it open. Now you're going to pour yourself a nice cold glass of almond milk, milk or whatever you prefer. And this is your cake. You're going to cut into it and enjoy. Mm, look at that. Until next time, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.